do we really necessarily need anything in life except for food and water and shelter and money no we really don't but this right here hey everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Tierra and I'm back with another video and today we are going to be doing a full face of Fenty using old and new new like brand new products I got my hands on a couple of the new brand new products that she just put out and I'm just trying to show you guys what it is what it's about so I hope that you guys will want to see the whole thing like watch the whole video but if you don't you can skim through to the parts you want to see but yeah I got a few products so let me show you the boxes and then you can watch it and see what it really is honey I know you guys know what this is. It's just plain on the front. But these are some other products that I got. Actually, I got one more. You guys can see all that. Got some new stuff in here. So if you guys want to see that, then please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Help me get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you so much. And let's get in to it. The first thing I got was this Fenty Beauty Snap Shadow. This is the number 10 one. So this is the money one, the green one. This new one just came out. And I'm just like, dude, like, that's that's a banger right there. Like, I don't have these colors in my collection. That's why I'm like, look, I need to get that. Next thing I got was this. This is the Fenty Beauty, what is this? The Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. And I got this in the shade Latte Lips. And I'm excited to try this. You know, I'm down for a bomb. I also ended up picking up this. This is the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP Sculpting Brow Wax Pencil and Styler. Also picked up the new green mascara. So this is in the shade Full Front. Oh no. <laughs> it's called the Full Frontal Mascara. But this is in the green shade, which is Ivy Leagues. What else did I get? I got a Fenty Beauty. What is this? The... Fly Pencil Longwear Pencil Eyeliner. This is in the shade Chrome Wrecker. And I was interested and I forgot they even had these. But it's in this shade right here. It's like a white. Or gray. It's more like a grayish color. Alright, so let's get into applying everything. We're going to do a full face of Fenty. So I'm going to first... I want to let you guys know that I've been using the Fenty Skin and... And I put this on before we I did the makeup, but I wanted to let you know that I used this. And I'm going to have an updated video up. And I want to do a three weeks update. So, yeah, I did apply this today. First thing we're going to start off with is the Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Instant Research Primer. This is the original one that first came out. And I'm going to just be applying this all over my face because who needs to prime, honey? Let's talk about Miss Rihanna, Miss Ruby, Miss Ponder Replay, Miss Oh, I work, Miss Work, 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 Miss. I think she has seven albums. Miss Chart Topper, Miss Grammy, Miss Riri, Miss Rihanna. Let's talk about her. So, basically, she's a boss ass. A <laughs> like a boss. Like she came up bossed up and i'm just like yes i'm so here for it like i wasn't really like a rihanna fan i liked her music but i became like a fan like fan fan when she came out with the beauty line because i'm like oh she bossing up she, she bossing up doing the damn thing and i was just like you know i got the stand i got the stand and then her products are actually good and they're in sephora so i'm just like wow and then she came out banging with 40 shades i was like hold up hold up she doing something so i stand for rihanna you know you guys know i always start with my brows so let's start with this brow wax so they say you can use it before your brows or after you do your brows i'm gonna do it before my brows and after just to see how that all works out and it just says to use like short strokes so short hair like strokes. So I'm going to do that. Okay. 
you know, since the brush to kind of brush him up. I'm, like, really loving the messy brow. Like, I love it. Because my brows are messy, so I don't really have to do too much with this trend. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I hope this actually lets, like, makes them stay up, like, all day, you know? It, do it does feel like wax. It's not, like, super thick. So that's what I, that's all I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna go in with, of course, the Fenty Brow um, pencil. So this is in the shade dark brown. This stuff is so small on her stuff. I like I can't even freaking see it though. Like, but that's okay because the products are good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these brows real quick, real quick. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this brow with the brow wax on first, and I'm just going to do this brow with the brow wax on last, just to see if there is a, a difference. I don't really know, but we're going to see. So let's speed through the brows. So just remember, this brow has the brow wax on before. This one is going to have it on after. Now I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 310. And I'm going to use this to carve my brows out. I really want to put a little bit more of that concealer on the lid as well. Okay, so now the fun part. Eyeshadow. Girl, I don't even know what I'm going to do, like, what look I'm going to go for, but this, this palette is so pretty. I even tried to put a green shirt on, so I would it. This palette has two mattes and four shimmers. It has six shades. This is the tenth one, the last one in the line. This She added two new ones, and I decided to pick this one up. So this one is green. The other one is Merlot, so it's more like a burgundy. I didn't want to get that one because I have shades that similar to that already, but I don't have anything like this in my collection. At least I don't know if I do, or if I do, I can't recall it right now. But yeah, this caught my eye. And then I got the mascara to go with it, the green one in the shade Ivy League. So we're going to see right now how this works out. So let's go ahead and um, get started on this eye look, honey. Like, baby girl, like... We stands for Rihanna. So, I'm going to take this shade right here. This shade is called Time is Money, and it's spelled with, like, time as the, the herb. So, I'm going to take this color right here, and I'm going to put that right in the... Ooh, it's a lot of kickback. I'm going to put this right in the crease. It's very softly, like, pressed, because the pigment... Like, the kick up is, is very much there. We're about to see what this do, if it do what it do. I love Rihanna, like, I, like, now I love her, she's a boss, like, she coming up, she did the Fenty Beauty, she did the Savage Fenty, she also has Fenty, like, her luxury clothing line with her shoes and sunglasses and stuff, and I'm just like, you can't hate, like, you can't help but to respect her hustle, like, she, she's, like, expanding out of music because, you know, you can't do you can do music forever, but you're not gonna be hot forever in music. And it's just like good to have your foot into something else, have some investments, keep that money flowing. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, I think she was the richest female celebrity last year. It was this year or last year. Forbes, she was six hundred million in there strong. Okay. That's more than Beyonce. And you know I love Beyonce. That's more than Beyonce, okay? So I'm going to take this shade right here. This is called Rubber Bands. <laughs> hey. It's just a brown shade in the palette. And I'm going to take that and I'm just going to put that on outer crease and just kind of, you know, blend it up. But yeah, Rihanna out here doing her thing. So y'all can't be mad. She's going to put her music out when she want to put her music out. Let her do her thing first. Let her get her feet wet in this other stuff. We probably been working on music this whole time and y'all don't even know it. It's not dark as I thought it was going to be. You know what I'm saying? 
it's not like a giving me depth. You know what I'm saying? She's a boss. She out here doing her thing, and I'm just like, you know what? We ain't gonna, I'm not gonna keep asking her for no music because she's not gonna put it out until she's ready to put it out. Y'all keep asking, she gonna prolong it. So y'all might as well just be like, you know, stop the asking for that. Buy her clothes, buy her lingerie, bread, buy her beauty products. She done dropped Fenty skin on us. Like, we should have seen that one coming. But yeah, Rihanna's not out here playing with y'all. So stop asking for it. So I'm going to take this shade called right here. It's called Fat Pockets. Like, that is so cute. Like, I love the names of her stuff because she's so creative and it's like her, you know. Put that on the lid. And that definitely shows up, like, really good. Wow, that's so pretty. And I'm just going to focus that in the center of the lid because we're going to go in with that gold on the inner part. All right, now I'm going to take this color, this gold right here. This is called Flash Money. Honey, flash your money. I'm just going to flip the brush over and then just go into that gold. And we're just going to put it right there in the inner portion. And then kind of blend it into that green. Let me see how that's going to look with my finger. Oh yeah, the finger definitely does it justice. Yeah, I'm going to go in with my other finger with that green shade we used at first. Just to bring it back. Because we kind of lost it a little bit. I'm going to take this shade right here. This is called... What is this? This is called Knee Receipt. So it's like a lighter green right here. And I'm just going to pop that right in the center of my eye to see if it's going to give us like a pop of something and kind of blend those two shades together. so good we have a lot of fallout as you can see here and there so i'm just gonna take a wipe and wipe that off and then we're gonna keep it moving okay so i ended up finishing both eyes off camera well i didn't quite finish them i finished the other eye off camera and i kind of did a little bit more i added a little bit more of that first green shade we used this one right here i used that one and i kind of made like a wing just kind of like flicked it up a little bit more and then i made it then i used this shade here to make some depth and did the same thing and i just took a wipe and just kind of wiped it away and i did it on both sides so let's go ahead and move on to foundation you already know it's a full face i'm going to use fenty's foundation this is the so pro filter soft matte longwear foundation and i have the shade 330 and the shade 300 so i'm probably going to mix them because 330 might be too dark for me so i'm gonna do one pump of this and then i'm gonna do one pump of 300 300 is my winter shade now i'm gonna go in with the cream bronzer this is in the shade honey glaze i love this bronzer so much i think the best way to use it is with the sponge so i'm gonna just take the same sponge and kind of work in there and then just kind of Put it on the face like that. The way that they made these, like, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Easy to blend. It doesn't go on super heavy and dark. You just blend it out and it just looks like skin. So that's why I really like the cream bronzer. We bronzed up. Let's go ahead and put the concealer on. So this is, again, in 310. I'm just going to take it in the highlight. The concealer is so bomb. Like, I had to stop myself from using it just to use other products. But this used to be, like, my go-to concealer. What I'm going to do now is set the under eye with the Fenty Banana Powder. And with this powder, you got to be very careful because it's very, it's, like, finely milled, girl. They, it's so finely milled that it will stick literally to your face. You need to make sure that you are using a brush and just lightly getting this and tapping it off like that. And then just kind of sweep it on there. 
now I am going to take the actual powder bronzer. This is in Karma Cutie. And I'm just going to take this and bronze the skin up a little bit, you know, and set that cream bronzer. Now, for the blush that I'm going to use for the blush is like my absolute favorite. Like, this is so pretty. This color is just like... Oh, girl, I love this. This is Ginger Bringe Moscow Mule, the Kilowatt Highlighter. And this will look so, so pretty on, like, darker skin tones. Like, what? So I'm going to just use this one. This is the less shimmery one. I use it as a blush. But this will look so pretty on darker skin tones. Like, oh, my gosh. But I really, like, when this came out, I was like, oh, my goodness, I need that. But you don't need too much. Like I said, it's not a blush. It's a highlighter. So you just want to put that on your cheeks and kind of blend it into your bronzer. And it has a little bit of a sheen to it because, of course, it's a highlighter. So if you don't want to, you don't have to go in with a highlighter. But I am because I'm extra like that. We're going, I'm going to set the face. I'm going to set off camera because I don't have the fancy glow spray. So I'm just going to use the spray that I already have. All right, let's go back to the eyes. And you know, I like I said, I have a new um, mascara. So, so I got two, but I already had the black one. But the new one I got is the green one. This is in the shade Ivy League. So we're going to put this on the eyes right now and see if it do what it do. And we can see a difference if it's even green, you know. I've never used a color mascara before, so we're about to test it out. It is indeed green. You probably can't see it. But I can see it. I'm going to take this green right here. And we're going to put that right on our lash line. And blend it up into this. Like cat eye we got going on. Just blend it in there. So I'm going to clean this brush off, and I'm going to take the yellow and put it on the innermost part. Now I'm going to go in with the white, not white, it's like chrome, the chrome liner. I'm going to see how this looks in the waterline. It might be crazy, but if it is, it's okay. We're going to do it anyway. It opened the eyes up a little bit. And it's super creamy, like, like super creamy. You can definitely do some wings, do them little line designs in your eyes if you wanted to, the liner design. So the last thing I'm going to try is this. This is the Fancy Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. And this is in the shade Latte Lips. And this is new, so we're about to see how this looks. She has a clear one, and she has a pink one, and she has this more of a, like, brown so I got the brown one because, you know, I love a nude brown lip. And so we're about to see how this looks on. That feels really good on the lip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not sticky at all. It's just like a, a balm with a tint, a little tint to it. Yeah, I, I like this, girl. That's so nice. That's really, really nice. It's kind of like these. These are her, what is this called? This is, it was so small and so tiny. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. This, okay, this is the, okay. Let me pull out my phone because this is tiny, girl. Okay, so these are the Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. And I got this in the shade, the shade is big, Makeout make out break so let me just show you the difference like this one is a really really nice I'm gonna put a little swatch right there I really like these like they feel so good on the lips and they give you that color payoff that you need and I just put a pair with a lip liner this one's a little bit light but it works with the lip liner and this is the balm so I want you to see like kind of like the difference 
and texture and like the shine. So this is the balm and this is the lip shine lipstick. And as you can see, the, the lip shine lipstick is a bit shiny, but it's not as shiny as the balm. The lip shine lipstick is still like a lipstick. It's more like, like a cream lipstick, a shiny cream kind of lipstick. But it looks really, really good. It feels good on the lips. And if I didn't put this one on, I just wanted to show you guys this is because it's newer. If I didn't put this on, I would have definitely put this one on for you guys. Let's do a little recap of the new things that I bought. So y'all already know how all the other stuff works because we all know. Everyone's got the new, the older stuff. But let's talk about the first number 10, the eyeshadow palette. So in my opinion, these shadows are much better than her bigger like Moroccan palette. I don't know if it's a different formula or if they're just different because of the color shades. But I believe these are much better than that palette. I do like that palette, but it's not my go-to. Like I don't grab it as often as I would like to because I really stand for Fenty Beauty. But I think these are definitely much better shadows. These shadows are really good in my book. This only the only shade that gave me like a problem was this one because it had lots of kickback, but it did blend out beautifully. And yeah, that's all I gotta say about this. This is a definite yes for me. Okay, so for the brow wax, my brows are not hard at all, but as you can see, they kind of tamed. I wanted them to be a little bit more like fluffy. But that could be because I was brushing it after I put on the pencil. So this was the side that we did not have the brow wax on. So I'm going to put it on here now to see how it does with the actual pencil. Okay, we're going to see. You know, I'm going to press it down just to keep them up and like fluffy. The brow wax is like, I'm not sure yet if I can recommend this to you guys yet. I need to use it a little bit more, get like more of a feel of it. Because this is kind of like a learning curve for me because the brow waxes are, I've tried the Iconic London like soap brow thing and I had to return it because I, it just wasn't working for me. I'll have to use this a little bit more before I can recommend it or I'll let you know if I returned it because I don't have a problem with returning anything that I don't like. So you shouldn't either. The eyeliner is really, really good. It's just like, like I said, it glides on. You can't really see it on here because it's kind of, I mean, you could see it. You can see it, but I thought it would be a little bit like more brighter. That could also be because of the green and it just like kind of mix into the green. But I really like these. I can't wait to use this as like an actual liner because it glides on so nicely. Like it just glides like beautifully. The mascara, the green one just... You don't need it. You literally don't need it. If you have the black one, you don't need to get the green one. So luckily I got it for you so that I can tell you not to buy it. But this right here, star of the show. Star of the show. This right here, I mean, you know, we have so many lip products and you don't necessarily need this. But do we really necessarily need anything in life except for food and water and shelter and money? Oh, we really don't but this right here this right here is so nice and you don't have to like do too much you could just pop it on if you want some color and something super chill and not sticky like the lip gloss um not the lip gloss but a lip gloss you know what I'm saying this is perfect and it's just so it just feels so good on the lips like I feel moisturized I feel like I want the clear one. That's what I'm feeling like. And that clear gloss bomb is trash. Don't get it. It's so sticky. It fell on my hand and it's just like super sticky. It's sticky on the lips. I don't like the clear gloss bomb. I'm so sorry. I don't like it. But this one in clear might be good because this colored one is very, very nice. Okay, let's talk about the lip shine real quick. So the lip shine... And makeout break is really nice. I know I didn't apply it in this video, but I just wanted you guys to know that I really do like these. I've used them a couple times, and 
they really last on the lips and they just make your lips look juicy and luscious and just <laughs> i use this color with the lip liner so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment and share this video and share this video subscribe like comment and share this video and share this video and hit that little bell so that you can know when i upload a new video bye guys